Another major improvement we've added to the BT-105 is the ability to pop up the virtual keyboard. Now, with most external keyboard uh, devices like the Air Turn, normally they, that would cause a virtual keyboard on the iPad to hide as long as this was connected. Uh, we actually have found a way to toggle the keyboard on. Simply by going first into the application where you need to enter text, go ahead and start putting, a, uh, here's a little text box at the top of this application here. This is Fourscore. And when you want to enter text, get it started by going into the area where you're going to add the text, then go to your BT-105 and press the power button briefly. And that should toggle the virtual keyboard and you're ready to type. Now, for most applications of the iPad, if you want to stow the virtual keyboard away, you would push this button on the lower right hand to hide the keyboard. Don't do that because what you can do is simply go into, after you finish typing something, oops, you can just go ahead and type this. After I finish typing, I can just go ahead and tap the middle and the, the screen, as you can see here, and the virtual keyboard will stow itself away and still be active if I need to use it again. I can still turn pages. As you can see, it doesn't interfere with the performance of the page turning capabilities, and if I want to go back and retype something, I can still do so, and the keyboard will pop up again. If you accidentally push this to hide, that's okay. You can retoggle the keyboard by pressing the virtual keyboard button, the power button again briefly to toggle the virtual keyboard back on for your iPad. Really cool new feature.